So first, the sound waves enter your ear. Then it goes through your ear canal. Then it hits your eardrum. Your eardrum is a very delicate thing because it, it helps you hear. Without it, you won't be able to hear your favorite music. So that's why that. But if it's, if it was out of your ears and on your finger, it would be the size of your pinky nail. That was very small. After that, it hits some small bones. They're called hammers, incus, and stapes. Because they, all that can call hammer, but incus is really the middle one. Those are the smallest bones in your body. After that, it goes to the cochleus. The cochleus is right here. And that's the part of the inner ear. So, if you divide it into three parts, you would see um, this. Outer ear, inner ear, and it, no, middle ear and inner ear. Okay, don't get them mixed up. I messed up here. So, um, after, the, after that, after these two, these three small bones, it will go into the cochlea, yes. And of them, little hairs and fluid. The fluid make the hairs go whatever the sound is but scientists say that when you flip the cochlea up here then you would see some like snail thing and then at the bottom you would hear low sound and if you in the middle you would hear medium sound but in the top place you would hear the high sound okay and after that they will send a message to a nerve then it would send it to the brain. Then the brain tells you what you're hearing. So that's how you do it. And also, this is April 2nd. Remember that. It's not Easter yet, but soon. On Saturday. So bye-bye.